When we read the Old Testament, it is easy to come across prophecies of destruction sent by God. For a long time, I did not understand how a God of love could destroy an entire population. Until one day, someone made me reflect differently about the prophecies of destruction found in the Bible. This person told me, if God really wanted to destroy, why would he warn? In fact, this makes sense. The prophecies were warnings of a God who did not take pleasure in the destruction of the wicked. But the scariest thing is not God. Despite various warnings, did not change course. In chapter 3 of the book of Isaiah, we find an alert against the destruction of approaching Jerusalem. But in the midst of tragedy, hope comes. The prophet speaks of the restoration of Jerusalem and of the remnant that will be saved. From verse 3, we read, Shall the remnant of Zion and those who remain in Jerusalem be called saints, all who are enrolled in Jerusalem for life, when the Lord shall wash away the uncleanness of the daughters of Zion, and cleanse Jerusalem from the guilt of the blood thereof, with the spirit of righteousness and the purifying spirit? You know, one thing the Bible makes clear, no one will get lost for lack of warnings. Alerts are sent repeatedly to all men in various ways, announcing that destruction is approaching. Unfortunately, many listen but do not care. They ignore the many signs that show that something is wrong. But happy are those who hear and accept the warnings. These are part of the remnant of Zion, those who will stand before the judgment of God.